Hello, my name is Constanze Klemm and I'm a coordinator of the European Master in Global Studies. This is a transnational organized study program in which spatial constellations under the so-called global condition are intensively reflected. The program was launched in 2005 and is amongst the first program that received support by the European Commission so-called Erasmus Mundus program. The Global Studies program is offered by six European universities and to date more than 800 students have graduated from the program. We're just going to give you uh, information about the results of our 2020 alumni survey, which we conducted this September to October. Um, it's going to be presented by both me and Milan. Milan will begin and uh, we'll start talking about the results. So, 93% of our alumni are currently employed and 26% of them work in higher education institutions. So if we compare this group with information from our previous survey in 2015, we see an increase in head and director positions, as well as positions as researchers and analysts. We think this might be due to the evolution of EMGS's academic careers. So people that were in the program some years ago are no longer PhD students, but moved on in their careers. The program is getting older, it's kind of logical, and um, EMGS's are professionalizing and climbing the career ladder especially the academic career lab. Some of our alumni are currently pursuing a PhD. 30% of them have said that they are currently working in research related to global studies. Those who indicated other as their topics are studying international business, conflict and development, sinology, uh, socioeconomics, ethics of technology, and human rights. The remainder of our currently employed alumni are working in diverse professional settings. Among those who indicated working in other fields, many of them are employed in the humanitarian aid sector, environmental action, or advocacy work. There are also alumni working in lobbying positions. In comparison with our 2015 survey, we see that there is a decrease in the share of alumni working in policy advice, but an increase in diplomatic service work. We also see a drop in people working in finance. I'm going to call this the EMGS effect, by which I mean that there were certain um, things that we wish to highlight amongst alumni in terms of uh, what it means to be part of EMGS and to graduate from the program afterwards. And so as you can see, we have nearly 40% of respondents which have changed continents or world regions at least once since graduation, uh, two thirds who've changed countries at least once and another third that have changed twice or more and then nearly half uh, have changed cities twice or more since graduation. So we see that um, EMGS prepares us for mobility, makes us mobile citizens, uh, and also ready to readapt. I think it's part of the, the adaptability of EMGS uh, graduates. EMGS uh, universities and graduating in certain places often offers people opportunities to stick around. So they are in order, the countries where EMGSers currently live, um, Germany, Austria, the USA, Denmark, Belgium, and the UK. Every day I speak to somebody from a different culture, from a different country, different language. Uh, this is a part of our quotidian experience. It's um, a big part of who we are, I think, as individuals and who we continue to be after we graduate from the program. We look forward to welcome students from around the world with diverse backgrounds and to inscribe the EMGS effect to their life.